In Brooklyn where I live it was so I, I mean it's so hot today it's like 35 but it's so nice and breezy here it's so nice oh we look so excited I am so excited Pleasurewood Hills. That's like the classic childhood theme park. I think it was called the Magic Mouse. It's like that basically, where you're in a thing and it spins and you go around on the track. I'm so excited! Well, that was a great starter ride. No one else is screaming, but I screamed the whole fucking time. Oh my god, it's amazing. Like you're flying, that sounds horrendous. Woo! No, this looks awful, and I will vomit if I go on this.
<laughs> it is also extremely, extremely hot. We're in the beating sun, there's no shade. And it's like 35 degrees, it's insane. So I think we're done with all of our ride credits, so we're gonna go get an icy drink and some Nathan's, because Nathan's is classic Coney Island. Okay, I'm home from Coney Island now. I just showered because I was so sweaty and sticky and gross. It was like sweat and sun cream and log flume water. So I came home and showered. I was just thinking in using Glossier by the way. This is the best thing I have ever had. It's the exfoliating skin perfecter, it's so good. But I was just thinking in the shower that I really need to focus on YouTube and Instagram again. I feel like I have neglected YouTube and neglected Instagram. I know in my last vlog I did a life update I was sat in a Starbucks and I was talking about how I really just wasn't loving being in New York I hated how dirty it was I wasn't having a great time at work then it was just that our hits and retention was awful and Andrew and I kind of both felt the same and it was just a really rainy week and everything just felt crappy that obviously got better I knew that it was gonna get better I just know that I was so miserable and then it wasn't the best month like obviously Kate came to visit which was amazing and then my brother came to visit which was kind of the transition from miserable awful work time because it's the time where work is supposed to be really great because it's May graduate season and it just wasn't so when my brother came I really embraced having my brother here I did a ton of New York things it was sunny I just had a great time and spent time with my family and I had New York moments again the thing that I was talking about in the last video is Andrew and I call them New York moments so they're moments where you just it doesn't have to be anything crazy or exciting happened it's just a moment where you take a step back and you think wow I live here I'm so lucky I love being here and we hadn't really had any of those all of May, maybe April. I feel like I did have that when my brother was here. When I was in Wicked Willies with my brother and Justin and there was live band karaoke and it was just a warm night and we were sitting and drinking and then Andrew came. That was a really, really great moment. And I just had one of those moments where I thought, great, my husband, my brother and my best friend are here. We're in a bar in the West Village and there's some crazy lady on stage singing. And those are the moments that we just had hadn't had and it didn't have to be that we went and did something exciting it's just being in the moment and loving it <laughs> I know this is a long explanation this is gonna be a very chatty video I don't think that I have really vlogged since my brother came so I think I'm probably gonna insert oh, I don't know I guess I'll insert those clips after this but I haven't really vlogged. I had Mandy's birthday, I didn't really vlog, and what else have I done since my brother left? I've had the whole of June. So Andrew, Brie, and I went to the New York Philharmonic performance in Prospect Park. That was a great New York moment. We were sat on a picnic blanket in Prospect Park. We had rosé, we had Chick-fil-A, and we were listening to the Philharmonic Orchestra, which is amazing. People pay to go see them, but it was free in the park. There were so many people, which is great. Usually I hate people, but it was just a community. And there was this amazing moment where someone got on stage during intermission and said, excuse me, everyone, we have a missing child. And everyone in the crowd just gasped and immediately everyone was looking for this child they said the name of the child and what they were wearing and suddenly there was this ripple of cheering from the other side of the field and they found the child and that was a great new york moment and being on that picnic blanket with two of my best friends and then the fireworks at the end of the night it was just a great night and i just feel like i'm really enjoying myself again although i will say that it's not perfect 
I still haven't found this work-life balance. I have focused so much on work recently and I had all these great ideas at the beginning of the year that I wanted to do more coffee shop tours, I wanted to do more sit-down videos, I wanted to get back into YouTube again and I haven't and I'm so annoyed about that. But it's having this work-life balance and I focus so much on work because I've had all these amazing opportunities like I just won an award. Oh that's the other thing that happened. It was like a rally conference and everyone from the Northeast was there. I won an award and that was kind of cool. Mandy won as well so we both had awards, we went up on stage, it was great. And there were some really great speakers and it was just a good feeling to know that I, I, I do like what I do, I really do. Um, I don't love it but I really really like it and I love who I work with and I love the people that I work with, I think they're amazing. I work with all these amazing people that went through a, the field of sales and then got promoted to management and I, I think it's amazing because I did the sales and I didn't want to be a manager and run a sales office so I moved to HR and I have some really great opportunities coming up like the admin rally that we have next is going to be in New Orleans which is somewhere that I have always wanted to go to and now I get to go with one of my best friends which is Mandy because we both qualified already it was like a contest where you had to qualify to go. We both already qualified. It's in October, so we're going to New Orleans, which is so exciting. We opened an office in Dallas, so we get to go visit that office in Dallas at some point. We had girls come from Miami to train with us, and they said that they would pay for our flights to go to Miami and visit them. So I've had a lot of great work opportunities. It's just I work way too much, and that's probably because I work on commission. It's so hard to explain what I do, but in recruiting, I get paid for per person that comes in for an interview um, and they constantly need recruiting because it's a high turnover and the whole point is to build a team and then create a new office and then open more offices throughout the US. It's all about expansion and so they're constantly recruiting. So I get paid per person that comes in. I do emails and calls all day. As soon as I get home I do more emails and ad postings. I at the weekend do hours of emails and refreshing ads and creating new job posts. So I just work well over the hours that I'm actually in the office and that I should be working but it's because I work on mission and if I don't do that then I'm not making extra money and it's kind of addictive and I want those numbers that we have if Mandy and I know that we are number one in the country for bringing people in which we are I have to do those emails at the weekend yeah that is what I've been doing and that's what I've been focused on recently and I feel like I just need to reevaluate. I need to look at how much time I spend working and whether it's actually worth it. I need to look at my schedule and see where I can fit YouTube and Instagram into my schedule. I need time to film, time to edit, I need to realistically come up with times that it takes me to edit because I always think oh yeah I'll take like two hours to edit that and it doesn't. It is a long process, it's longer than people think depending on what the video is. So I I know I say this all the time but I want to get back into YouTube and recently I go through obsessions all the time but I went through um, an obsession with Scientology documentaries and then I was on to confession tapes and making a murderer and now I feel like I'm back to YouTube when I do washing the dishes or even at work one day I had the iPad up and while I was doing calls I was binge watching Zoella and I just feel like I have really missed that and I want to do that. I love watching Rihanna and Ashley and my favourite time of year is Vlogmas. I love Vlogmas so much so it's so festive and I love being able to vlog every day even though it never works out because I just work too much. <laughs> I don't think that I could daily vlog. Rihanna and Ashley is doing Vloon right now and I would love to do that. It's just I'm at work from 9 until 6. I come home, I do emails, I eat, I shower, I go to bed. And that is my life right now. I mean, I would love to daily vlog. I think I might attempt it. What is the next one? It's Vloon and then I think Vida, which is also April. Vlogging every day in April but vlogging every day in August. Is there a different, oh I think it's called vloggist for August, maybe. I feel like I would like to attempt it. I definitely wouldn't be able to do every day, but maybe I could do every other day. But this is just a quick life update, seeing as the last one was a little depressing. I also feel like, I don't know why, because I am quite a confident person. I just had this lull in confidence. I hadn't vlogged in public by myself for a very long time, and today is probably the first time I've done it. When I was at Coney Island, I just, 
did not give a shit. I was full on vlogging alone while Brie and Andrew were on that ride. I was walking around the park vlogging and I just haven't done that. And I just feel like I, today I just had the confidence, I had the motivation and I had the confidence to do it, which is so nice because I haven't had that for a while. Today was also so fun. If you don't know, if you haven't seen my previous vlogs, Brie is actually moving back to Georgia. She's from Georgia and she has decided it's best for her to just move back to Georgia, get a job in Atlanta. So she has four weeks left and she wants to do a ton of New York things and Coney Island was on her bucket list. So and I'm so glad that we did it. It was just so hot. I'm sure looking at my face now, this is definitely burnt, isn't it? I had sunscreen on though. I feel so much better for having a shower. You know what else I haven't done that I've really missed as well with vlogging? Just chatting to a camera. I have really missed that. I also feel like that's been in my lull too. Not just my lack of confidence to vlog in public, but just, just vlogging at home too, or vlogging in general, or filming videos. I don't know, I just haven't felt like I have anything to say when I do have things to say. I love chatting to the camera, um, and I miss that. So I wanna get back into doing that and just sharing my random thoughts. Like whenever I watch Zoella or Rihanna and Ashley or whoever it is, it was just chatting about random stuff, but I love watching that and I do love doing that. Yeah, so this is my update. <laughs> I want to stick to it. I need to reevaluate this week, make time for YouTube, and just have like a cutoff point Point where I stop work and it's time to focus on YouTube. What do we have coming up next weekend? I'm not sure. I don't know what I filmed the last few weeks, but here are the last few weeks. You know, when, when things weren't, like I have a lot of people that want to be my friends now. Like people like give me all kinds of free shit that I don't need, like all the time. Like I got this call from American Express like a year ago and they were like, hey, Mr. Diaz, how are you? Blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you know, we have concert tickets. And I'm like, good for you. You know, and they're like, oh, you know, we, we, we have a gift for you. And I'm like, I'm sure you do. Uh huh. And they're like, uh, Mr. Diaz, no, you're, you're a Centurion customer. It's 100% gratis. And I'm like, the fuck is that? <laughs> Let me start over. I must not be explaining myself, right? Like, we have a complete complimentary you and 200 other Black Card members, a private evening with Stevie Wonder. I was like, like some guy named Stevie Wonder? Or like the, the, the blind guy, you know? Or like, you got that guy and shit. You know, like, which, which, like, because I know, I, I interviewed a guy named Stevie Wonder. Twice. And they're like, no, no, no. The multi-Grammy award winning artist that happens to be visually impaired, Stephen Wonder. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Gratis? I'm like, sir, 100% gratis. And, and it really was 100% gratis, and it really was blind Stephen Wonder, the real one. And I was like, holy shit, and like, this is my life. Like, people are like, looking to give me free shit that I don't need on a consistent, ongoing regular basis but that wasn't always the case you know what i mean like not that long ago i was consistently trying to get things for free from people at their businesses you know <laughs> or their homes you know i was consistently like oh uh, well your cooking smells delicious is it is it gratis you know <laughs> like there was like a fire i mean it's not exclusive to our industry you know it's just the world's changed in an incredible way in an incredibly fast way like when i was growing up being an entrepreneur was not like a cool thing it was like you were like still figuring life out and you couldn't get a good job or you were code for a drug dealer like there was like it wasn't like positive to be like i'm an entrepreneur people would be like oh shit like, <laughs> That's not good, man. So you can't get a job, huh? You gotta go, you gotta go be an entrepreneur. <laughs> and, and now it's like it's like a cool thing. It's like a badge of honor. Like, I'm an entrepreneur. We are in Prospect Park. We're here for the film for our morning concert in the park. This is so nice. Bree, you did such a good job of saving space. Tumblr and Snapchat. And we have Chick fil A, we have Rose. This is going to be a nice night.
currently in Williamsburg. I'm actually waiting for Andrew to arrive. We are going to see Jojo tonight, which is so exciting. Andrew and I both love Jojo and we have for so long. So we just bought tickets and we thought we'd go. Um, but I'm meeting him for dinner beforehand. What does what is RFS stand for? I have no idea. Cheers to mad love, Cheers. Jojo. Mandy's birthday so I was gonna get up super early come into work get Panera green tea get a gift bag for her gift and didn't do that get a card get balloons haven't done that it was raining this morning I cut my hair last night and so it feels nice and bouncy curled it and then came out in the rain and now it's a frizzy mess so I'm pissed off about that then my train ride was delayed there was so many delays it's like why did I even fucking get up early I'm here at the same time I would usually be here just earlier than Mandy mine and Mandy's favorite thing is the Panera green tea tea so I got her a giant Panera green iced tea it's papaya green iced tea it's just not actually like plain green tea because that's not exciting um so it's our favorite thing so I got her one of those to come into it is just so good happy birthday to you I'm actually going to go get drinks with Andrew, Brie, and Nick and Sarah. And then we're gonna go to a drag show because Andrew has to support his friend Lemon.
Justin goes to this woman's house to clean out her snake because it's kind of aggressive and she doesn't want to clean it out or feed it. It used to be her son's. And then we are going to the Staten Island Mall to go to Primark because there's still no Primark in Brooklyn because it still hasn't opened. It's been delayed by like a month and a half because of construction now. And we also need to get Justin a tux for my friend Ali's wedding that we're going to in July. And I need a dress and shoes. And yeah. We're going to go to the mall. I'm looking forward to it because I want to go to Primark, but also going on the Staten Island Ferry is such a nice thing to do. A nice sea breeze on the ferry. It's going to be so hot today though, like hotter than yesterday. I think it's supposed to be 37, which if you're American is like 102. I made myself an iced coffee this morning. I think we need to go. And Justin is sat in the living room waiting for I mean, that'll do, I guess. We're on our way to the bus, and then we're going to clean out a snake. We're on the ferry now. The ferry that we're on does not have an outdoor area, which is so annoying because that's the whole fun part of going on the ferry. Enjoy the breeze. But whatever. So we're inside. I'm probably gonna do some emails while I'm sat here. We're in the home section. Justin just smashed one of these snow globes. I wanna get his embarrassed face. What did you do? I told her. Are you embarrassed? Did you cut yourself? No. Okay. Oh my goodness, it is so hot. 
hot outside. Justin and I are finally home. It was a long trek home in the heat. It's just so humid too. Um, so we stopped at the liquor store on the way home and we got some banana rum and I'm going to blend that with some frozen mangoes and have some nice icy drinks because we're just both so hot. Um, so we're going to have some nice icy drinks and relax. Justin's going to play video games. I'm going to do some editing. Um, oh, and I'll do a Primark call. I just need to like cool down first, but I will do a Primark call. I didn't get that much stuff, honestly, but I'll show you. Oh my goodness, I am just still so hot. I can't cool down. I got these pants. I love pants like these where they're just like loose and light. And they're good to wear in summer, just like these pants and a loose t-shirt. And then I also got another pet. Oh, I just flung that in my eye. Uh, I also got the green version as well. I also got some heels because my other heels that I was wearing to work were just really old. So I got some basic heels that I can pop on in the office. I got some new sandals. But that's it. It's not it wasn't very exciting. I have just found the last two or three times that I've been to Staten Island Primark, they just haven't had a lot of stuff. The shoe section was pretty much empty. They had out of the heels, maybe three different heels to choose from. Sandals, there were a lot of sandals, but they were all pretty basic and the same. The home section in Staten Island has never been good in England. The one that I've been to in Tottenham Court Road and also Norwich and the Cambridge Primark all have a great home section. But the home section in Staten Island is really just some pillows, maybe two duvet covers, and that's it. Norwich, you go there and there's like five different shelving things of different duvet covers and they're all really nice. Um, and like interesting, fun duvet covers. They have nothing in Staten Island. Is this happening in England too or is it just Primark in the US? I probably won't go back to Staten Island Primark again anytime soon at least unless I have to go. I really want Primark in Norwich. I am feeling kind of homesick. Being here in summer, because when I lived here, when I went to college, every summer I would go home. And so when I'm here in summer, I kind of feel like I should be in England and I should be in the kitchen with my mum and we play music and drink wine and have the, the kitchen doors open into the garden and the dogs are running around and it's light until like 10 p.m. I just miss that and I miss walking the dogs in the countryside in the evening and I miss Primark and Norwich. Um, yeah, so Primark today wasn't really great at all. So yeah, I was doing some emails, got tired, I was actually kind of falling asleep. So I thought I'd come up and show you what I got in Primark, it wasn't really that exciting. I'm probably gonna do, we had meatballs last night and we always have leftovers when I do that, so we're probably gonna have some leftover meatballs and broccoli and just chill for the rest of the evening and try and get cool. I'm still so hot, we have the air conditioning on but I'm still so, so hot, it's insane. If you watch my videos, I would really, really appreciate if you could give them a thumbs up and subscribe. Please do subscribe, it does mean a lot. If you subscribe and it's not that hard, you click a button. If you watch it, why aren't you subscribed anyway? So just do it. And um, leave me a comment, let me know any videos that you would like me to do. I really want to get back into filming coffee shop tours and I really wanna do, I did this ages ago and it was gonna be a series and I never got around to it boozy bullshit. I did one with Emily, uh, Emily Wanderblush, who also has a YouTube channel. I met her at the YouTube space. It was so great. I think I have a friend from work who also has a YouTube channel. Her name is Stacy. So I might do that with Stacy. Um, I want Andrew back on my channel to do a boozy bullshit. I think that would be fun. <sighs> yes, I'm gonna work on my schedule next week too and make sure I make time for editing and planning and filming. I hope that everybody's having a great time, everybody's having a great summer. Let me know what your summer plans are. I feel like we have quite a lot going on with weddings and, well that's actually it, <laughs> we have one wedding. And I don't know, I just wanna go visit my cousin Kate. Yeah, so if you have exciting summer plans, let me know in the comments. Let me know any videos you want me to do and let me know how you're feeling. I hope everybody's great. I will see you in my next vlog.